again, even if it's a very short period of time, sitting behind, I would take selfie with him. I, I managed to get a lot of photos. And now I found out that the photo is so memorable and so valuable. So I believe that today, right, uh, uh, not to say I'm, I'm talking on behalf of him. What I'm trying to say is that uh, he stuck something on, started the MBA business a long, long time ago. And uh, what he hope, what he wants is that we all continue his legacy. Grow the MBA business to another heights, you know. Bring the business to a bigger level. Okay, so can we give him a big round of applause? Thank you so much, Alena. Thank you. Right, uh, and all the diamonds behind, give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Okay, uh, today, right, actually, uh, just now I saw uh, Hari share about First Circle. I think he did a fantastic sharing, right? I think he deserved a uh, fantastic uh, applause. Okay. Today, uh, I'm going to talk a bit like, uh, because we are really catching up our physical year very soon. Now it's already um, going to be end of July. And then uh, the full month of August uh, is another month. Then after that, 1st of September, we're going to start a new physical year. So today, I would like to spend a bit of time to share to all of you and uh, learn together, right? And uh, don't think that Mway you need to do some different kind of things or some different kind of magic things. No. It's how to do the simple things, do it effectively. Do it right. Okay, so I hope that today I want to talk more about how to do sponsoring. Uh, because, right, uh, many people, when they start the business, when they get excited, they sponsor many people. But they are not doing the sponsoring on the regular basis. And after some time, right, we sponsor some people, we start to have a question, right? We start to have fall into a trap that we will always complain to our upline. I sponsor so many, but nobody wants to come to meeting. And end up, uh, because I got nobody come to meeting, uh, I also sometimes come, sometimes don't come. Is it related to what, uh, what uh, Hari uh, talked about just now, the first circle, right? So, uh, Actually, for me, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sharing the business for some time, even every day, we sponsoring people. We found out that why many people, they don't want to do Amway. What do you think? Why people don't want to do Amway? Or somebody, they, uh, they did it before, but they are not successful. Like my parents, they did Amway before, but they are not successful. Actually, the, their main few reasons, I think, is that many people, the first thing is that they're concerned about other people's opinion. Now, right, when we want to do something, right, we always concern how the other people look at Mway. It's not what, how you look at Mway. You do Mway for yourself or for others? Hi. For who? So, if let's say we always concern about how people look at Mway, you will get disappointed because, right, maybe most of your friends, they are very close to you, but they are a bit skeptical about the MBA business, they might be negative about the MBA business, but if you're too concerned about how people look at it, end up, we give up. We don't continue the journey. This is the first thing people don't want to do MBA. You see, because of this, uh, they even they're suffering in their job also, they don't want to do MBA. You know? They're too concerned about this. Number two, fear of rejections. <coughs> Actually, honestly, uh, a lot of people, it's not that we can't find appointments, it's that we fear. Fear of rejection. rejections. <coughs> and uh, then I, if, you, if you ask me, even the, all the diamond behind, right, that today, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Law, uh, young diamond behind. Uh, yeah, I say young diamond are very hardworking, you know, one day morning, uh, I, me and my wife, we drove down to Nanjo Malib, uh, to this early morning, you know, and I see one Audi uh, overtake us, you know. <laughs> the number is like 829, uh, correct or not? Yeah. yeah, then I say, this car very, very familiar. Then I think, hey, it's Diamond Law. Then I ask my mom to call. They are rushing down to Hippo to do follow up, you know. It's like, the, the, you know how the duck swim? <laughs> the goose, you know. Relay up there, but down there. Very, very hard working, you know. No wonder today they are so successful, executive Diamond. Okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, fear of rejections, uh, we always fear. Actually, our prospect, uh, they are not rejecting you, they are rejecting what you offer to them. Honestly, uh, I don't like to eat prawn meat. From young until now, I never eat a bowl of prawn meat. <laughs> so, let's say you brought me to a place, I said, this is the most delicious prawn meat in whole Malaysia. I will still answer to you, I don't eat prawn meat. 
So it means uh, it's not how good is Amway sometimes. It's the person they, they don't want means uh, they reject you. Actually, they're not rejecting you. They, re they reject Amway. There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that, right? But if let's say in this whole world, there's only one person for you to sponsor, then that's it. Uh. <laughs> but there's so many people out there, they want Amway one. Okay? And the third one is lack of knowledge, lack of skill, lack of motivations. Lack of knowledge, lack of skill, lack of motivation. This is the reason why people cannot be successful in the business. Uh, knowledge not enough, they don't have skills. Now, we do Amway, do you think that we did have skill? Yes. You want to ask the person to bring up the IC, you know, the identity card to sign up, he also got skill, you know. <laughs> don't have skill. Yes. Yes. Last time, my wife always, uh, sorry, I scold me in the car. <laughs> Every time I go and do selling, uh, after I do the demo, uh, I worry that I will be rejected. I will say, you think about it. If you want, you come back to me. <laughs> this, uh, then, after I went into the car, I was say, oh, hey, God, people do everything like this one. <laughs> and, uh, but nobody looked for me. Then I know that actually my skill got problem. Like then, uh, now I ask them, you want big one or small one? <laughs> small one, that means I got one order. They actually got skill one, you know. That's why uh, lack of skill. Then you feel like disappointed because right, people don't want to sign up, people don't want to buy. And I found out that a lot of people are very good in selling but very hard to sponsor people. Actually, sponsoring is very easy. Okay, and the last one is lack of motivation, not self-motivated. So I think this is the thing that people, are, if you don't want this, then you have to be here. Lah. Lah, hate your job but feel like you can't quit, lah. you have to continue this journey for the rest of your life, which I don't want. I don't want, I want to face this and I don't want this. And I also don't want uh, the company make profit because of my work. I work very hard and up, I get a salary. But who make profit? The company make profit. So if you, if you want to do something on your own, you have to overcome this. Can? Yeah. Can, huh? So, let's talk about uh, today, the main thing I want to share to you today. I, I like Amway Business until today is because why? Through this networking, right, you have a very equal opportunity. This happened to my line of sponsorship. You know, actually, my upline is the Founders Platinum. My up upline is an Emerald. I'm, I'm down there and I'm a diamond today. But what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is that actually it's not that I'm better than my upline. No, upline always we respect them. But the most important thing is that you can decide how far you want to go in the Amway Business. You can decide how much you want to earn in the MBA business. Actually, you see, you are the down there, but you earn more than your upline a lot because why? Your upline only built one line, correct or not? So it's all based on your own effort. You can decide how much you want to earn. So today, right, the first thing, how far can you see in MBA? It's a very good question, you know, because sometimes we notice that a lot of ABO, right, they came, they came to the MBA business, right? They can get, you know, get very high, Excited, huh? and after a few weeks, they are gone. Got a lot? Yes. And they always say, they promise, don't worry, I'm like, I will be your leg, I will be your leg. The leg was not gone already. <laughs> <laughs> don't know where the leg, where is the leg has gone already? It's already, huh? So, I want to see, I want you to understand one thing, huh? actually, Apple and Seed, huh? actually, last time, right, I was in a very difficult situation when I start MBA because right, the time right, my sister, my brother-in-law, they are all working in UK. So the time uh, one one dollar, one one pound sterling is seven ringgit. I just want to start my MBA business and my sister they call me. You just you just come over, you just come over to UK. Everything has been prepared. Just come, just come and work there. Sounds very good, right? But it, it took me a bit of time to really think about actually what I want, what I want to achieve. And ultimately, I decided I want to build Amway. Although, just started uh, because why? Because if I go there, I get Apple. Like many people work here. Every month, you will get a big Apple. Correct or not? Yes. Every month, you will get a very big Apple. End of the year, maybe you get a few Apple, lah. you got bonuses. Lah. But I think differently. I, because through this company, I have Apple Farm. Because I built, I throw a lot of seed, I built something belong to me. One day, uh, I cannot finish all my apple here. So I want to build the network. Uh. So today, let's talk about, now everyone knows they start from September, the core plus will start. And, and my job today is not explaining to you how core plus work. Uh. You have to work your plan, then the core plus will work for you. 
if you keep on talking how much money you earn, uh, you never fulfill the requirement. Uh, you only can see people earn off. <laughs> Correct, right? So, let's see. This is the formula. Very important formula for me. Uh. Actually, I think the first thing, uh, I, I just now the video said that uh, if it's something you want to practice, if it's something you want to learn, that is a very, very important thing, uh, learn one thing. Try to have a clear written goal every day. Try to find a book. Actually, you see my wife behind, she's having a book. Write every day. Every time I see my downline, even afternoon today, I follow up my, one of my new downline sign up. Uh, I told him the power of clear written goal. Believe me, if you write every day, it feels like you can, it's within your reach. You have to write there, this year, how much money I want to earn. This year, how many legs I want to build. This year, what is my family commitment? Maybe I want to have a family trip. Where? How much money? You write every day, write until you don't need to remember already there already. When you have a clear return goal, then you start to plan, then you know where, where you should put your priority. Correct or not? Then, actually, uh, go accomplish and even 10 times faster. You can achieve your goal 10 times faster. Believe me, just now you see, the 3% people that committed to write their goal on a paper and they want to accomplish it, actually, ultimately, they earn money more than the 97 people all put together. Do you understand? So sometimes, uh, do some simple things, but it's all required habit to do it every day. Okay? So, now, let's talk about name list. Uh. Actually, this is something, uh, you, you can check in your upline, uh, but this is what Core Plus look like. If you really went for the Core Plus session uh, that's shared by Amway, uh, Amway now talking about three legs, right? Yes. Hello? Yes. yes. Is it three legs? Yes. yes. So, you can have four legs, many legs, uh, but for me, uh, I really think this is very interesting because why you just see, uh, now, uh, many people, we sign up a lot of people, right? But for me, uh, if we really can sign up one person, uh, they can really understand the value of the business. Uh, with this three line, uh, the highest level that you can go is Founders Emerald. Yes. With the same line of sponsorship, you can up, go up to Founders Emerald and you can earn about 350000 Same leg. So everything like look like very simple. Three line, it, this is a very strong structure, like it's a very strong founder's platinum structure, if you ask me. And this is a very, very profitable MD business. So that's why you see this person here is very important. Now, so today I'm going to share with you more detailed things. More detail on top of what uh, just now the Hari shared. Uh, actually, a lot of people, right? The first thing is you have to sign up new people. But you don't have name list. Uh, I, this one, uh, in MOA, you just, you just found out that you want to move, but you found out you don't have name list. Uh, you very, very, very tense one. And you see, uh, your friend move up already. You, you want to move, but you don't have name list. Uh, you even very tense. Correct or not? Yeah. So always make yourself have name list. Every day, you, have to, you must have people to see. Every day. So, the first thing is that you have to sign up new people. But for me, uh, I always say, you can sign up people easily. But how you sponsor them is very important. Correct or not? Signing up people is very easy. Sometimes we do classes, uh, in our training classes in Chinese group, we do training. Some people, they can sponsor 20. Some people, they can sponsor many, many people. But it's very good, you can sponsor people, but I will more concerned about how you sponsor them is even more important. How far this thing can go is very important. So the first thing is that you sign up them. Number two, you have to ask them to change brand. Uh, dear friends, it looks very simple, but I tell you honestly, uh, you need to put a lot of work there. If you ask us today, like Diamond Behind, uh, how many customers we have? We don't have 200 customers. We don't even have 100 customers. We have got time to service 100 customers. Have to go traveling some more. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Amway business, uh, if you do Amway, uh, after some time, uh, you keep on customer, customer, customer. Uh, then uh, after some time, uh, your inner feeling will tell that you are a salesman, you know. Every day you go out, uh, sell, sell, sell. Go to people's house, uh, repeat order, repeat order, repeat order, repeat order, uh, until all already still do the same. And uh, this kind of M-way uh, won't attract people to come and build the business. 
The first thing is that you sponsor a person. The first thing is that you have to make the customer use the product. Number one, they have to satisfy with the products. Number one, they have to satisfy with the product. Number two, after they satisfy, you have to educate them. Customer need to be educated, you know. That's why sometimes, uh, every time uh, I sell one set you try, uh, the next time I go and visit the person, uh, my thought is that uh, I want to get the order for the second set. And some people even <coughs> worse. Uh, this time go, you try. Next time go, after three. Third time go, East Spring. Fourth time go, Atmosphere. Actually, dear friends, dear leaders, your customer uh, actually, uh, they want you to care them, you know. But sometimes you ask yourself, uh, you care them or you care your PV? <laughs> your customer can feel one, you care your PV more than you care that person. That's why uh, you have to service the customer, even you sell a set of neutralite, uh, you have to make them satisfied with that neutralite. If they're not satisfied, uh, they won't continue to use it, you know. Correct, uh? So number two, they are satisfied already. Number two, you have to educate them. That's why sometimes when we visit our customer, we show them neutral like video, testimony, and all that. Uh. Don't think that your customer is satisfied. Uh. Sometimes they might change brand, you know. Got it, not? They might change brand. So when, if you educate them, uh, some of our customers, uh, their immune system very strong. Uh. Even other direct selling go and attack them. Uh, their immune strong until after they, they defense really. After they go back, they will call me and today new skin came up, uh, but I'm very strong. They cannot attack me. <laughs> if we have this kind of customer 20, uh, you are very safe. Uh. You want which kind of customer? That kind of customer, uh, stay in your group for very long. They are die-hard, loyal buyer. L listen carefully, uh. loyal buyers. If we have this kind of 20, 30 customers, believe me, uh, after a few years, uh, they will recommend from that 5 or 10, uh, suddenly this group become 100 people already. They will help you to promote your products, you know. Because right, they are loyal customers. Eh? Then, the, the last one you have to bring, bring to system or meetings. Actually, uh, sometimes right, I notice one thing. Myself, also always concerned about this thing. Uh. A lot of people, when we go out, right, we don't want to share m -way real value. I ask sometimes uh, when we share value, right, we have to be very specific, you know. What it means, uh, sometimes we always tell people, m -way can make money. Is it specific? <laughs> Maybe you said 1,000 also make money. Uh. It's not very specific, you know. And sometimes, uh, I, when I follow up one prospect, uh, I will tell them, uh, if let's say, even you talk uh, to a businessman, uh, now you extra earn another 100,000 a year, will it be interesting? 800,000 is money, right? Correct or not? Or you say, what if this business can allow you to earn 5 or 10 times more than what you are earning now? It listen to 5 to 10 times, uh, suddenly the, 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 the eyes, everything start to... <laughs> Very excited, really. And what are the MWA other values? Passive income, freedom, inheritable business, right? And sometimes when we go and talk to people, uh, we don't want to talk the real stuff, you know. We talk some like touch and go, touch and go, touch and go. Come for meeting, uh, MWA very easy to do one. Uh. If you don't want, next year can return the kid, get me 90 feet ringgit. Uh. Heaven sign up, ask people how to resign. <laughs> if, you, if you just if you share MWA uh, like this, uh, that's why people don't respect MWA. People out there, they don't respect MWA is because right, the way we put MWA make people don't respect MWA. And they only see, have to sell product, have to see people, have to go meeting. Who want to do MWA like that? And did you notice that now MWA world, there are a lot of high profile people building the business? Yes. Why they are in the business? Because they see MWA, the value is far more higher than this. So sometimes, right, you want to invite people to the MA function, right? You must know how to share the value, but you have to be very, very confident about the value that you keep on sharing to them. It's not about sometimes it didn't deliver, you know. It's sometimes the timing is not right. Recently, my wife, three days ago, she received a call. Actually, uh, six years ago, she followed one classmate working in a bank. Uh, of course, the daughter is very young, uh, already start to have a lot of health issues, right? The day he called, right, okay, can you come and see me? 
uh, shared to me about Amway after six years. Then, right, then he said that, then he, the guy that is her classmate, he never met me before. Then he said, my, my husband also studied in Yok Choi Wan. I know what, I follow your Facebook six years already. Where, whenever I go, he knows one. It's just that, it's not that you're not good in sharing the value, it's just that the timing is not right. But we have to very, very uh, focus on the value, you know. Don't think that MBA value got no value. Sometimes don't do MBA like, no value already. Uh, do you feel MBA got value? Like you say, sometimes come and see, there's no excitement, like no value. La. Got value or not? Yeah. Free or not? Yes. Free or not? Yes. How many people you share the value to them this week? I don't know, but never mind. Keep on sharing. We do it together. <laughs> All right. So, so if you want to do this right, if you want to do this. Is your ability and goals is have to be very very specific, lah. Okay. So today, uh, okay. Let's stop. I'm I'm, I'm going to end really today. Very short. I don't don't keep too long. We get very short. Again, I remind all of you. Mway business is a profitable business. Very very profitable. Just imagine, uh, just imagine, the, I don't know, uh, can I ask all, here a lot of people are working employees, uh, I ask all of you like now, outside world, right? If you want to earn about 130,000 a year per annum, what kind of qualification do you need? Degree. Any, any degree? Huh? Experience, how many years? 10 years. Wow. And what kind of job school you might having? Very relaxed. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? How come you all know? Yeah. Huh? You all, you all in that situation, right? But last time, right, when I joined the business at the age of 22, I tell myself, I don't want to work for too long. I don't complain work. I don't want to work for too long. That's it. It took me 24 months only. I achieved 130,000 in two years. Hey, just imagine, uh, at the age of 24, uh, age of 24 in 2004, 130,000 is quite big in Ipo. <laughs> Ipo, no. No need to work already. Every day, you plan your schedule. Every day, you do whatever you want to do. But every year, we qualify MAALS. It only took us 24 <laughs> months. It means, uh, if now what DBI offered to you, with what the resources that you have here in DBI, I think you can even achieve that faster than before. Correct or not? So, now, back to the last few things to end my sharing today. The first thing I always say, always tell yourself to be a better learner. Always. That's why I say that sometimes, right, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know whether this is right or wrong, and I always tell, tell myself and my wife, right, we are we, I don't care how people behave. I'm, I'm not living for others, I want to live the way I want to live. You see, every week I come here for meeting, I'm not coming here because of whether I, my downline come or not, I'm coming here because I want to come. I want to come and learn. If you stop learning, you start dying, you know. And sometimes this is the first thing, always, always have that curiosity, yeah. Uh, that every Friday there's going to be a surprise in DBI. That's why it will come early. Let's say, uh, let's say your mood, uh, I, uh, I know uh, every Friday also the talk the same thing on. Uh. You see, honestly, uh, if like that, uh, will you call your prospect to come? Because why uh, you're not excited about the meeting, you know. And sometimes uh, all the people who have been in the business for some time, uh, when you see a new people, uh, we also feel very, how come these people can invite so many people to come? Uh? Because they are very curiosity about the meeting and very excited lah. And we know many things really, but we are not excited lah. Correct or not? So bring your people over here. Make the DBI Centre grow with more people, more people, more people. Make the environment even getting hotter and hotter lah. And number two, always be a builder. I always say, always be a builder. As an MBA business owner, right? They are, I, I think many people know that MWA got a uh, building stage, managing stage, and blaming stage. <laughs> <laughs> building stage, managing stage, and blaming stage. But the best, always make you excited is that always stay at the building stage. Always build, build, build. Don't manage too much. And don't blame. Sometimes some people, they don't come to meeting, but you know, they don't want to do. I'd rather happy if they tell them they don't want to do. 
Because why I'm building ma, why you worry? They don't want to do is their their problem ma, correct or not? You find new people la, and sometimes ah, you always blaming, blaming ah. This business you keep on blaming ah, you not happy anymore, correct or not? So always be a builder because why I always say that a purpose as a leader in your organization ah, if you want to show to your downline ah, a leadership is is an action or example like what Harry said, you know. If you always do it, you are the first one to build the business in the in the in the front row. There, you keep on building the business. You are a builder. Believe me, your downline will follow the same. Yeah, you see, uh, I, I do body key. I'm not promoting body key, ah, but now I'm doing another round of body key. After eight, I cannot eat <laughs> until tomorrow. Now already thirty seven days ready. Uh, and sometimes, uh, if let's say you are a, you are a leaders, uh, you don't do that, if you don't do all this, uh, that's why this business is a very funny one, you know, you cannot do, your downline won't do, and you won't dare to tell them because why you are not doing it. Be a builder, always talk about name list, always talk, let's say I always tell my downline, uh, okay, I tell my downline this, when you come to see me, you have to take care of one important thing is that you must know how to take care of your goal. <coughs> You, you yourself have to take care of your MA goals. Your upline cannot help you to take care of your goals. Your upline only can teach you how to achieve that goals. Correct or not? Yeah. If let's say you go and see your upline, uh, you don't have a clear goal, uh, then your upline cannot teach you how to achieve that goal because why? Uh, you are responsible for that goal. You know how much, what percent you want to achieve. How many people to sponsor this month? How many how much money you want to earn this month? Let's say you say, upline, I want to achieve 12% this month. Then your upline can teach you how to do that. Correct or not? Yes. Yeah, it's very important. You see, this is my downline. My classmate. I, uh, I don't know, I didn't know whether I show this photo or not. Uh, this Chinese New Year, I went back to Ipo for Chinese New Year. I brought my mom for a lunch in the restaurant. She's the restaurant manager here. Uh, and she came and called me because why we had never met for 22 years. She came and called me. Then I, 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 I didn't. Who are you and all that? Huh? I got time. Huh? Yes. One more minute. Huh? Then I end with this. Huh? <laughs> you want to know? Or I, you want me to talk? Or that's it. Okay. So one minute not enough. Huh? Okay. So she came and called me. Then only I recognize she's my classmate. And she joined Herbalife because she liked to do exercise. She's a, a, she liked to do Spartan, you know? Like what Emily do, the excess race, something like that, got obstacle one. So she do exercise and she very fat, thinner already. Then I call her, I show the plan to her. She know that I'm going to talk Emily to her, she came in this. After she joined, right, she's in Ipoh, I'm in KL, you know? She took train ETS every Tuesday, come to KL for a meeting. Wow. Every Tuesday she came to KL, uh, after the second meeting, she will stay in my condo. I got a guest room there. She will put a night and I give a key to her. Tomorrow morning, she wake up. She took a grab back to ETS, took back the train again, back to Ipo. One o'clock, she go there, F&B manager, work again. Oh. Every Sunday, we do training classes for six weeks. F&B, very hard to get off day during Sundays, right? She apply off on Sundays. She attend all the classes. That's why now, you know, she... She now achieved 1,000 PV every month. Not a very hard achievement, but I know that the foundation concept that she has, I know that she will, can go further in the business. And you see, uh, every time she came to my center in uh, KL, right, Chinese meeting, uh, she will get very excited uh, and she go and promote to all the downline. Uh, last week, uh, she brought seven people from Ipo to the group, uh, that you all motivate, you remember? You see, uh? Bring the, the people there, go for a tour HQ. Uh, very lucky I saw Joanne Chia. Joanne Chia and uh, Priscilla, they, you know, uh, they go there and introduce to them, help encourage them, you know. E everyone take off day to come to KL to go for meetings. And you see, uh, she very good, uh, got BMW fashion one, you know. Every time after meeting, I fetch her, go back to her house. Hey, I also put effort, you know. But because why? She got a big trip. Because why? She worked in US for 8 years. Uh, uh, she delivered two babies in US, came back. The husband last time was Barista National. Hey, don't, don't put my uh, <laughs> government change. His destiny also changed. Now become Grab driver. Now she's 40 years old, same like me. She said, uh, how many more years I can work as an F&B manager? 
Now she took the MVM business seriously. Uh, she do house meeting, you know, this is Starbucks, you know, this is another manager she sponsored, you know, uh, this all in KL, I help her to sponsor, she sponsored many, many people, she wants to build the business. That's why sometimes, right, don't always think that nobody looking for opportunity. Is there always be a builder, and the last one is be solid. What do you mean by solid? Uh? You must always have purpose. I always tell people, uh, you have to understand what is the meaning of purpose. If let's say if I always people have dream uh, but we don't have a purpose and the and the dream sometimes have to come with a responsibility. You, know, you are responsible for your life, you are responsible for your family, you are responsible for your kids, and you're also responsible for the society. Sometimes, right, even if we don't have a clear purpose, right? Maybe now you start the business, you can do for one week or one month or one year. What if the along the way there is a lot of challenges might come along, uh, if you don't have a strong purpose, right, your MA journey will end. And we will kill by our challenges. That's why always, if you want to be solid, uh, you have to show people every time they look at you, you're still excited about the MA business because why your purpose is very, very strong within you. What you are, what you are going for, what you are fighting for. Bole. Bole. Number two, have integrity, honesty, and trust. <coughs> Sometimes, right, I always say, this is the MA philosophy. Uh, we do MA, we want to have integrity, honesty, and trust, you know. And do you remember at one event, uh, even Mike Dong talk about Dr. Aziz? Do you remember? Because this is, we are hearing this for many, many years in this TBI center that he's a person with a strong integrity, honesty, and trust. We have to uphold integrity, and this is how you become very solid in the MBA world. You know, the people look at you, people will salute you. And the last one is what you know be a promise keeper. Promise keeper means that uh, you say something, keep to your promise. You say you want to do this this year, you say I want to go to this seminar, keep your promise. Always be a promise keeper. Keep to your promise. If you say I want to lose weight, be a promise keeper. If you say I want to go 21% this month, be a promise keeper. You say I want to, I don't tell, set a goal, I don't want to miss any DVI meeting this year. Be a promise keeper. I want to tell myself, I don't want to come late to DVI in this one new physical year. Don't always think about earning money. Set a goal. I don't want to be late to DVI meeting for the whole 52 weeks. Be a promise keeper. And use your heart to do MA, don't use your brain to do MA. Okay, with that, I thank you for listening and I will see you on the next